All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and smoke some cream cheese today. And uh, just gonna go ahead and score these a little bit, about a quarter inch deep. And then we're gonna season them up, so. Got the boars here scoring them here on the Oaky Smoking Channel. We got the pit boss heated to about 180 degrees. And then after we uh, get done one of these, here's some uh, hot sauce I made right there. Some blueberry habanero. Uh, so we're going to put some of that on there on one of these here in just a bit. So one of them, we're going to go ahead and add some uh, Honey Killer Bee Dry Rub from Cosmos here. We're gonna put this one on the other one. Yeah. Then we got some uh, Boar's Night Out Midwest Dust. This one's like my favorite. My favorite pair. Uh, now, I'll turn these sideways, hit the side. too much. If you guys ever eat watermelon, this is good on it. Yeah, I always do. That, hit that, hit that side. Hit the back side. All right. Then this is just a grill mat just a cheap grill mat that I've, I wash and reuse after I wash it a few times and we're just going to try to take this to the grill and put it in just like that. Then we got the Pit Boss Lexington 500 series. We're just going to place these grill mats right on here. And uh, yeah, look at those. Looks good, don't it? I'm going to let those cook for usually an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half on uh, 180 degrees, it's lowest setting. Now I've got it set to 180 degrees, but it's staying at 265. I'm going to, on this model, it has a P setting, and I, and I don't mess with this too much, but we're gonna change it up a couple. It, I believe, goes from one to seven. The higher the number, uh, the lower this temperature should be. Typically, I don't mess with this too much, but it's currently 97 degrees right here in Oklahoma, and that is, it's only 12. Uh, the high today is about 104. It's very humid, so this thing is having trouble staying low. I mean, when I opened the grill, it was showing 150 degrees before I even turned the thing on from inside of it when I heated it up earlier. So uh, we're gonna do that, let that cook a while. Hopefully the temperature will go down some so it don't cook quite as hot. But yeah, hot day means this grill gets even hot, hotter. So. Uh, we'll check back here in a minute and see if it looks like the temperature went down some. Kind of a disappointment. The uh, cream cheese is melting a little more than what I like, but we're going to be all right. I moved it to the top rack further away from the fire. This one's really kind of, but got the smoke going on uh, because it is, it's just so hot out here. I uh, probably should have had the temperature a little cooler before I initially put it on, but we're gonna wrap this up. Probably gonna do about 45 minutes today because it's cooking so hot, and then put some crackers on it, throw some of that hot sauce on it, and see how it tastes. I bet it's still good. Uh, just not, I've done this several times and it usually holds form a little better, but I usually have it a lot cooler of a temperature, but didn't think about it being, it's approaching 100 degrees right now out here, and uh, not the best day, I guess, to uh, do a slow, low, uh, cream cheese, but when I come back, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here we go. We got it. As you can see, it melted quite a bit. Um, smoked this for right at one hour, um, and this one has some of this blueberry habanero hot sauce. This is the one with the honey bee, and this is the uh, Boar's Night Out Midwest seasoning. Still looks great. Um, like I said, probably shouldn't have put it on the bottom right away. <laughs> I uh, usually put it on the top, but it usually isn't that big a deal. I'll do another one of these in the fall uh, when the I temperature's bet you, cooler. I bet it, you it'll turn out pr more pretty. They, they come out a lot better. It's just, it, 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 I started the cook, it was 97 degrees. It's now over 100 already in just one hour. So it was hard to maintain the temperature. And that P setting I did only affects the lowest setting if you have that. 
it don't affect it when you set it to any other temperature. But let's go ahead and try this. Anyhow, I'm going to try the one with the blueberry hot sauce. Get a cracker there to like that. I'm going to uh, try it too. Today's my last cheat day. Look at that. Today's like thing. a little cracker, cracker sandwich, if you will. You getting the blueberry one? Yeah, and then I'll try the other one too. Yeah, we'll try the other one next. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's good. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Wow. You got that smoke in there. That blueberry seasoning. Try yours here. This is the one you like. Mm -hmm. Dig up in there. It's really a lot more melted, but it tastes great. Mm. Mm. Kind of has a little. When you roast marshmallows, uh, don't it taste kind of like that? A little bit? Of. Yeah, got that little roasted marshmallow taste. Yeah. Y'all want to try some? You Anybody? Try some? Jacob? Jake? Did you want to try some? Not, that, not this one, but. Huh? Got the oaky smoke and well, this critics one coming up. Blueberry stuff on it, and this one doesn't have the blueberry stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you need another cracker to put it up on there. You like it? Yep. It's usually, like I said, a little better form, but so, I do like that. There you go. Give him a little piece. Do what old Jake thinks. We're going in after more. You should try the, the blueberry side. Yeah. Perfect appetizer, perfect little mm -hmm. lunch. Mm. All right. How about a Dorito? So we tried it with the Dorito. We say it's too cheesy. It's too cheesy. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. good, it's good, but it's so cheesy.